Aloha, everyone, and welcome to Stay in Yanad Hall. I'm your host, Maria Mera, and I'm also a financial advisor with Edward Jones. And we always try to um, see, have ideas here of how to stay young at heart and how to be fit mentally and emotionally and mostly physically. And today I'm bringing the owner of Beyond uh, Pilates Studio. And her name is Diana Robel. So welcome, Diana. Thank you for joining us. Hi, thank you, Maria. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. So, uh, well, let's just start. What is Pilates? Uh, Pilates is an amazing exercise system that truly can help everyone, no matter where you are in your fitness level, whether you're an athlete or a beginner. And it's um, amazing. It's meant to help strengthen your core, help with your flexibility, uh, with your endurance, your coordination, your balance, and your strength. Absolutely, your core strength. Okay, so we, we, have, it, we, we have a winner. We have a winner here. Um, where does the name Pilates come from? Uh, there's a gentleman who created Pilates. His name was Joseph Pilates, so that is his last name. And uh, he created this uh, in the 1900s, early 1900s, and brought it to New York about the 1920s. Okay, and I, I never heard about it in the, in the 90s. It's, it was more like suddenly it took over the whole nation in the 2000s, no? Or am I, am I, am I very late in the game? No, 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 absolutely. I think it was um, very understated. And there's a woman who should take a lot of the credit. Her name was Mari Windsor. And she did a lot of Pilates infomercials and really helped Pilates get on the map. And that's how we, we definitely learned about it more through her. So I'm grateful to her. Okay. And you have a really nice studio in Kakako in Honolulu. Um, tell us a little more about, about the concept of your studio. Sure, it's a, a fully equipped uh, Pilates studio. So Pilates has two kinds of um, options. One is mat, which means exercises on the floor. And another option is equipment based. So we have a fully uh, equipped Pilates studio with all the equipment to offer. Well, so uh, when you say equipment, you mean the what we call reformer Pilates or, or more than just that? Yes, correct. So one part is called the reformer. Another piece is the Cadillac. We have stability chairs, a ladder barrel, and then we have a lot of fun props to work with along the way. Okay. Well, let's do something. Let's watch uh, a video where we can see your studio and then just have a visual. Come experience the wide range of benefits at Beyond Pilates Studio. Strength, flexibility, balance. Participate in one of our gyrotonic or Pilates group classes or receive one-on-one -on -one instruction from our expert trainers. Our passion is to help people of all ages and fitness levels achieve their goals and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Call for your personal consultation or bring a friend and begin with our intro package today. Okay, so I think uh, we can have a, a better idea now. Um, you are also, we see you in the video, you're not only the owner, but you are an instructor there, right? Absolutely. My first love is teaching and sharing information and knowledge with my clients to help them with their bodies. So absolutely, I'm definitely there hands on. So we see a lot of like um, a lot of people like is it is it only groups or can you do one to one or what do you recommend? So mostly we're a boutique studio and we offer, especially during COVID right now, a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions, individual sessions. Uh, we have duets, uh, which are two people together. And we also have group reformer classes. Um, I also offer another type of um, modality, fitness modality. It's called the gyrotonic method as well. So not just Pilates. Okay, so tell us about the gyrotonic method. What's the difference? Yeah, so very different than Pilates. It's another exercise system um, that can help definitely strengthen you, your core strength, of course, flexibility, just like Pilates, but in a very different way. Um, it definitely helps with a lot of spiraling motions of your spine, so lots of articulation. It helps uh, stimulate your nervous system, decompress your joints and your spine. So great with uh, for people with um, back issues. Uh, what what brought you to Pilates? Was did you did you have a back issue, or what brought you? I I am always interested in what makes someone uh, find their passion. 
Yeah, sure. So I think a lot of people that start Pilates had their own issues in their body and they were trying to work through it themselves. However, I've always been um, someone in the gym. I used to personal train and uh, teach group exercise and just reached out and uh, did a workshop through my CECs that we're required to do every year to keep maintain our certifications. And so I did this beautiful Pilates workshop and, and fell in love with it because I used to dance as a um, child and, and then I used to ride horses professionally. So it's it's all about moving and flowing and dancing and, you know, all of it. So it was yeah. very... Well, those those horses can be... Uh, riding horses are probably not the best uh, exercise for your spine, right? Uh, I think if you know how to move your body and move with the horse, it's truly like dancing with one partner. So oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I don't know how to ride my horses. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's incredible. At a okay. professional level, you're one. Yeah. So um, when when you do when you decided to just take on Pilates, um, how how who do you recommend it to, or who were the clients uh, that you were um, doing Pilates with versus just um, uh, personal training? A lot of my clients are older. They have a lot of spinal issues, um, scoliosis, disc issues, uh, sciatica issues, um, joint issues. So a lot of people with that are interested in improving their posture and their alignment, helping rebalance their body, um, bringing it into the most shock absorbing place it can possibly be. Um, so you said you said older people and people with issues. We have the idea. It's almost like yoga, right? That seeing a guy in the class is like, oh wow, he's uh, um, it's it's just a, a very unique um person. Is is Pilates the same thing? Is is it more women? Definitely more women, but I think as people are um, realizing what they need for their body, I think more men are starting to do more Pilates and being open to possibilities of what else they can accomplish, um, not only as an athlete, but if anyone that's interested in golf, especially for alignment and control and uh, how to um, create a better game for themselves. So we have a lot of golfers too interested. Okay, yeah, so anything that is um, that is just very repetitive and includes your bug seems like um, that this could be good for. Absolutely. It's truly for everyone because I can take anyone from wherever they are and meet them where they're at. So if you're a beginner, I can start you there. If you're more advanced um, athlete, I can help you in that area. So really, it's truly for everyone. So can you just do Pilates and be in good shape? No, absolutely not. That would be irresponsible. I wish I could say that you can only do Pilates, but no, you can cr definitely cross train. It's so important to, um, you know, lift weights and swim and hike and walk and bike. I mean, whatever you love to do physically, unless there's some reason why you can't uh, do those other things, then it definitely, you definitely have to get your cardio in. Um, there's no yeah. way around. Yeah. So can you can can you do um because I think uh, I I might have been in a in a class in your studio um maybe with another instructor but it's more uh, cardio than just elongate and then um so there are there are different ways to do Pilates right you can you can also bring your heart up a little bit. Yes, absolutely. There's definitely some cardio aspect to it. Uh, and I think everyone has a different style teaching and it depends what the, your reasons why you're taking Pilates. So obviously it would be, um, you know, appropriate for certain people and not appropriate for others. So it just depends on what's going on with your body. The, but there the is a little cardio in there, you know, you can go at a little faster pace, make it the springs are a little bit heavier. You know, once you know what you're doing, you can move through a uh, transition much quicker so it just depends okay and uh so what's the difference and and sorry if this is a stupid question and i assume more pers more people than just me have asked it before uh, what is the difference between yoga and pilates 
Sure, I think they lump us together because they're not quite sure how to explain us. Um, and they're both definitely mind body. Uh, yoga, I believe, is more spiritual aspect to it, where Pilates is a little more is definitely just exercise. And it's about, um, you know, being in, in your body, having that mind body experience, really thinking about where you're moving from, what body parts you're moving from. Uh, it's just a little different. We work with a lot of um, pre and post rehab, um, pre and postnatal, so a little different. So um, you, you mentioned a lot like for back posture, for pain, for rehab. Do you yeah. work with other uh, professionals like physical therapists or, or doctors? Or do you, are, are you, do you have a network that you, you refer each other? I do. I refer actually quite a lot to, you know, if something is out of character, something is going on, I definitely refer them to doctors to, to go see what's going on. Um, if it's, I feel like it's beyond my scope and, and there's some red flags like, oh, that doesn't sound right. You really should go see either your doctor or I can refer you to someone. Um, it's nice to have like a, a, a a group of people where you can refer out to, whether it's a masseuses or chiropractors or acupuncturists. Um, I feel like the more we can work as a team together on one person, uh, their um, journey is much more successful. So if they're having some pain issues, you know, if we can all work together to help that person, their recovery is so much faster. And yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I completely agree. And even in, in every field um, that is important, I mean, in the finance field, definitely you need your CPA and your state planning attorney and your financial advisor, but even more in the medical field, right? That something, uh, eight eyes can see more than, than two eyes for sure. Um, so how many instructors do you have in the, uh, in the studio? Currently, I have two instructors. Um, one of them happens to be my sister. Uh, she teaches part time, and all I can say, my sister's name is Julia, and she's amazing. Uh, and another instructor, Lee, who is um, incredible. She's super high energy, and I know a lot of my clients love her too. Okay, so tell us a little more. Or can we ask what are the prices uh, of the classes, or how much? How much would this be? Sure, I, it ranges. Um, it's kind of like buying a car, you know, you start from a, a lower end and can go quite a bit high, just depending on, um, you know, financial needs. That's one reason, you know, your time, how much time do you have? How flexible are you? Because our group classes have are certain days and times. So if you feel like that's not an option for you, you know, maybe individual sessions or duet where you can schedule any day, any time that's available, and it gives you more flexibility and freedom. And we also have packages for all of our sessions, um, five packages, 10 pack, 15 pack. So we try to help everyone's financial needs so that they can at least do Pilates at some at some place in their life where they feel like they're not left out. Awesome. Um, let's take a little break here. We're going to do a recess for a minute and we will be back with Diana Robel from Beyond Pilates Studio. Aloha, I'm Christine Linders, physical therapist and board certified orthopedic clinical specialist. And I am the host of Movement Matters, a show that is designed to bring you the best physical therapy tips and exercises so that you can have your best body and do all the things that you love. You can watch my show every other Tuesday at 11 a.m. on thinktechhawaii.com where I show you instructional videos from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes to get your body feeling its best. Remember, life is better when you listen to your physical therapist. I'll see you on Tuesday. And we are back with Diana Robel from uh, Beyond Pilates Studio. Diana, I wanted to ask you, and I know this question is already, uh, at, at least I'm trying to, to move on, right? But um, how did COVID-19 affect your business? 
you know, I'm so blessed. Uh, my clients are incredible. Um, they've been with me. Some I've had clients for 15 years, 13 years. They're like family to me. And so they know me and they trust me and they know that whatever I'm doing is um, for them and to keep them safe during this um, questionable time, especially in the beginning. Um, you know, having conversations about what we were doing in the studio as far as cleanliness, and sanitizing and um, just keeping everything uh, up to par so that they never felt like their health was in jeopardy. Um, so I think when you have those personal conversations and those um, connections that they uh, felt comfortable coming into the studio, even when things were um, not so great for everyone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, obviously they trust you already, and uh, and trust is goes a long way. Um, so, how many people? What's the what's the maximum um, that you can that you have in there in a in a class in a group class right now? In our studio, it's uh, no more than 10 uh, gathering. So right now we're keeping our doors open so we have fresh air coming in um, and things are really spread out during the day. So it's pretty rare that we have even five or six people in there at one given time. Um, it's mostly either two people or four people max. So it's, it's very boutique. Um, very small, very private, very individualized. And I think it, it, it allows people to feel comfortable working out. Okay. And uh, is, is this your sport of preference for yourself? It is something that I do. Um, I also like to lift weights and also like to spin and get my cardio in. I like walking, going to the beach park and uh, at uh, sunrise and um, sitting and meditating a little bit. So I do a little bit of everything. I have my own issues in my body after you know my background with my own spine and ankle. So my limitations are there as well. And so I just manage it just like everyone else does with their issues in their body. Yeah, and the, and the older we get, it doesn't seem like it's getting any any easier, right? <laughs> Absolutely. What's your vision for your business uh, and your dream? And I'm I'm looking at behind you that say follow your dream. And uh, so, what's your vision for this dream of yours to in the next five to ten years? Definitely, I would love to expand my studio um, and also offer group exercise. Um, I'd also love to have a second studio on the island as well. Um, and then maybe do some something online. We did a little bit online during COVID. I'd love to expand that myself um, and start doing some more courses, um, offering courses online. Uh, yeah, that's that's my vision for my business. Yeah. Just Growing, growing, expanding, learning. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what other services do you do? You do any other services in the studio, or so we talk about gyrotronics and uh, pilates. Yeah. Um, anything and anything else, or that's basically where you, where you're con concentrated now. Yeah, I definitely um, also offer Reiki and also, which is a form of energy work, healing work, and also some cupping as well. Okay. Um, so do you, are, are you, uh, most people, um, they, when they want to book the classes or when they want to go to the studio, do you have a phone number or, uh, or a website where they have to go or how do you, how do you book the reserve the classes? Absolutely. So I have a scheduling system online through my website. Um, and then if people would like to uh, do sessions privately or as duets, they would um, call the studio directly and uh, make an appointment. Excellent. So your, your, the website is beyondpilateshawaii.com, right? Yes, hi.com, correct. Okay, beyond Pilates, hi.com. Well, good, in case any of our, um, of, of our audience are interested in, in trying. Um, so what, what other recommendations do you have for someone who has never done Pilates and they go there for the first time? 
Sure. Um, I definitely have a conversation first with them before they come to the studio so they understand uh, the process. Um, but once they're in the studio, uh, we offer intro sessions, especially depending on what they're interested in doing, if they're interested in reformer classes. Um, and they've never experienced it before, we offer an intro package, uh, which is three individual sessions, and that includes 10 reformer classes. And so in those three sessions, we basically teach them basic principles of Pilates, uh, how to adjust their equipment, and then make them do some exercises so they feel comfortable and, and they know kind of what to expect in the classes. Okay, um, so I'm gonna change gears a little bit here, and I know, um, and, and because we're in Hawaii, right, and everything logistically here is so difficult. Like if, uh, now, even more. Um, where do you bring your your reformers from? Uh, so I am certified through an international Pilates certification called STOT, S-T-O-T-T, -T, and they are in Toronto, Canada. So I have invested all of my equipment uh, through them and it's sent directly from them. And uh, so what, what does that require? They are having, um, having that, do you need to keep um, updating and, uh, and learning and educating yourself or through them? Yeah, so my uh, certification, I'm fully certified through my Pilates um, uh, industry and they require CECs every year so that I'm constantly learning and uh, staying connected and staying on top of my industry and what's happening in it. So how, how have these machines progressed from the 2000s to the, the 21st, <laughs> yeah, the 2021? Sure, uh, their prototype doesn't change all that much. They may tweak things here and there, um, but they're not drastic changes in the equipment um, because they're truly so perfect already. There isn't much to be done to them other than uh, maybe changing colors and uh, or maybe um, mechanically changing something to make it uh, a little smoother, um, but there aren't any major changes so that I don't have to, um, you know, keep purchasing equipment year after year. More, uh, it's not like Apple that they require a different uh, cable every time you buy an iPhone. Well, thank goodness, thank goodness. Aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, Diana, thank you so much. And uh, sorry for my questions because I'm, uh, I, I'm trying to understand, but I'm also trying to make the audience uh, understand what Pilates is. And I think you did a great job explaining it. My pleasure, thank you. So thank you for your job in the community. I hope you keep growing. I hope you uh, keep uh, being an instructor and uh, growing those studios. It's, uh, it's really a good thing for, for Hawaii, for the community. And, uh, and I hope for you. So thank you very much. Thank you, Maria. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay. And uh, again, thank you everybody for following us and we'll see you in our next show. And uh, until then, aloha. Thank you.